Can I get a motion to open? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, um, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, and I should say welcome to the June 26th work session for the Queen Anne's County Board of Education. Can I get a motion to approve the agenda? Motion uh, to approve the agenda is presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes from the closed session and the open session from June 5th? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Can I get a motion to approve the human resources report as presented? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Did you want to make yes? Yeah, so thank you for approving the HR report. I wanted to take this time to introduce you all to our new supervisor of mathematics and um, gifted and talented program, Ms. Uh, Becky Berberich. All right, welcome. Dr. Kipler, um, Vice President Bent, members of the board, executive team, um, I present to you the 25 budget for the fiscal year, and I'm open to any of your questions or concerns or comments. I've kind of gone over this several times. Sure, so. no, yep, and this one, so this formally does have the 1.2 additional from the county. Um, it's allocated, the majority of that is for our teacher salaries. Um, we also included 150,000 for tutors to go with along with the teacher salary, or the, yes, that way they can have more support in, with their classroom based on the district-wide model of teacher specialist. Yeah, we know what a struggle it's been this, uh, the last several months, but, you know, I'm glad to see, though, that, you know, even though we don't have a dedicated specialist at every single school, that we do have them dedicated to the schools, they just may be splitting their positions. So yes. it's not ideal, but I feel like we did the best that we could with what our blueprint requirements were and, and what we had to work with. So good job. It was, I know it was hard work for everybody. Yeah, there were some sleepless nights for people, but we're, we're good. <laughs> I, you know, this, this year, this budget's passed and funded right now, but mm -hmm. We have a very issue coming up with our next two-year budget because we've signed a three-year contract mm -hmm. that I question if it's sustainable to honor if we do not get help from the state. With health care, rising costs, just normal rising costs, if we don't get help from the state and, and do the blueprint and have some funding when our county is doing over 10 percent and they're not doing two, mm -hmm. um, right. it's not sustainable. <clears throat> and if people wait until may to go to commissioners and ask for more money when we're going to threaten to lay off people or not do something it's too late okay. after september the 30th we'll know our uh enrollment that gives us our maintenance of effort mm -hmm. and i think we really need to sit there and we need help from the general public that if you're not going to get out there and do it then there's going to be some there's going to be some serious cuts mm -hmm. and some serious things that don't that does not going to happen in this next budget we have said show up the session start january uh, in the state, the state legislators. So yes. go down there and make your voices heard that we do need money. And we're, it's the same as all the counties. Correct. Uh, we need, we need help from the state with all these mandates. Okay. And Thank that you. was going forward to hopefully we can, like my goal is to predict out multiple years at a time for you and the county. The county has requested that. So we will. Yeah, but, but, but even though right, right, we Nick, project that multiple times, right, right. I can sit there and tell you I need eight million in this year, right. nine million next year. That, that's not sustainable right. for the county to keep giving us 10 percent of their largest budget of their in their budget when there's other necessary for we'll the county hopefully have i think when we if we do go and talk to the state it's nice to have those numbers in front of you as well a little bit more support anything that you can try to 
hopefully get more money from the well, state. I mean, um, you know, we were at some meetings this past, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Shannon and I were meeting, and Alexa, it's, it's a problem with all counties on the shore. Yes. And, you know, and what our, commis what our commissioners gave us is, is, is historical compared to what most of these other counties are getting. And I'm talking about counties that are more comparable to us in wealth, not the ones that are getting a lot of state aid. I'm talking about right. the ones that when our county's funding over 60% of our budget and the state's doing 40 and it's not even coming up with their same percentage as the county. Right. Uh, we're all feeling that, I agree. So, we'll, we'll work through it. Anything else? That's not to you. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, the yeah. general, <laughs> that's the general public because, I mean, I'm going to listen and we're going to all be up here listening to them. But when the teachers come and the parents come and the students come, if, the, if, it's, if there's not enough revenue, I, I, you know, I, there's no money to Our county gave us, went above and beyond, so <clears throat> there's only so much that we can keep requesting from them, so it is, we are appreciative of them. Yes, Correct. we are. Because yeah. I, what I hear from the state is, it sounds to me like they want the counties to increase taxes and fund mm -hmm. their bill. That's essentially what I'm hearing. So right. <laughs> I don't, I mean, it's their mandates, the they should. Thing. The money should be coming from them. It shouldn't be up to all the counties to increase people's taxes to fund something that they didn't want in the first place. So <coughs> he was pretty adamant about it because one of the other counties asked the question at the meeting that we had last week with them. They stood up and they said, "Are you guys going to fund us to cover a lot of the stuff that you're asking for in the blueprint?" And he said, "No, we're not. You guys will work it out." Yeah, he said, go to your counties, and, and mm. when somebody says something about taxes, they essentially said, that's what you need to do, raise taxes. Yep. But, so. <laughs> but, you know, our county, even though we didn't do constant yield, those, your rates stayed the same, but you're raising taxes when your assessments go up. So your tax bill is going up every year. So, you know, I, I can't say enough about our county commissioners that have, have worked, I think, very closely with this board uh, to fund what we need. But... Uh, I think I think would be need bigger than a school if we if they want to raise the tax rate. Right. All right. Anything else? Can I get a motion? So moved. Uh, motion to approve the twenty-five budget. Fiscal year twenty-five. Second. Fiscal year twenty-five budget. Fiscal year twenty twenty-four twenty twenty-five school year. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you. That was a tough one. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Really was. Thank you, right. Ms. Hickey. Good evening, President Bennett, Dr. Kibler, board members and executive team. For the record, my name is Julie Hickey, coordinator of food service. I come before you tonight seeking approval to piggyback off of Anne Arundel County's public schools contract with Hershey Creamery for the purchase of ice cream and ice cream freezers. Uh, we currently sell ice, Hershey ice cream in all of our schools and it's being pre- I think we're meal prices first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I am so sorry. That's, That's okay. all right. We're no, apologize. All right. No worries. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> okay. <Everybody. laughs> um, I come before you tonight seeking approval for a 15 cent per meal and a five cent per meal per milk carton price increase for school year 24-25. Queen Anne's County Public Schools meal prices have remained the same since school year 22-23 and at that time a 10% increase was approved by the board. Historically we've increased meal prices 10 cents every two years but based on the Maryland State Department of Education's paid lunch equity tool, the consumer price index for food away from home, which has increased by 4% over the last 12 months, and an increase in minimum wage to $15 an hour, it is being recommended that we increase this year's prices 15 cents um, and our milk prices by 5%, uh, or 5 cents. Um, the 5 cent increase in milk cartons partially is due to the increase and price we saw in milk over the last year due to the cardboard shortage in producing that milk. If this increase of 15 cents per meal is approved in the five cent carton per milk, <coughs> breakfast would be 175 for the upcoming school year for all elementary, middle, and high school. Elementary school lunches would increase to 275. Middle and high school lunches would go to $3. A staff lunch would go to four twenty-five, and the price for a carton of milk to uh, fifty-five cents. I have questions about it, just because a, a couple months ago we had um, when we were talking about not renewing Sodexo's contract, and we were going elsewhere. 
um, because it was less expensive, and they said that the prices would, of the meals would remain the same at the 10 cents additional since it was two years prior. Right. But now we're asking for twice that, and I guess I'm not sure why that is, and you know, would the milk have been less expensive if we had stayed you know, with the other contracts? I don't know, but it just seems like it's double what we just heard a couple months ago, it, the increase. In and the price of the milk is actually on the new contract that we have will come down some. Um, but like we said, we base our increase in our meals um, are based on that, um, the, Merrill, the MSDE paid lunch equity tool and what they're recommending for a price increase. I thought that was 4%. That's the um, food away from home, the consumer price index for the food away from home has gone up 4% over the last 12 months. When COVID was going on and we everybody had free lunches and breakfasts, yes. I think we did pretty well with that because the federal government reimbursed us more than what our actual cost Correct. Was. And this is a rough figure, but roughly a third of our students are on free or reduced lunches. Yes, I a did. little bit over a third. A third. Are we going to be all right with our budget dish? I mean, with those numbers, even we're going to still be in our realm of making money. We should be, yes. I mean, we, we, we said we're going to say. And we, I have not seen the reimbursement. They have not released the reimbursement rates for next school year yet. But, but I mean, we're not getting reimbursed. Like it was 100% because all of it. But now it's, and I'm sure it's, it's hard to get people to come back. What's eligible and what to actually use are right. probably are two different numbers too. Right. We've never been reimbursed at 100% for free and reduced meals. Okay. Even when all meals were free to students, we were still reimbursed at a free, reduced, and paid rate. Okay. Um, so, so that should not have our numbers correct in six months we're not going well we don't get this we're it's it's all we're still apples and apples yes gotcha does the equity tool um when you guys input um like numbers into that does it take into account like how many free or reduced lunch your district has yes okay. and it goes back to 2011 right 11. and it looks at the number your percentages as well as the number of meals served Okay. Over a and then year. does that have anything to do with um, they fill out the information based on like income or any and does increasing of the meals have anything to do with like the district getting more money for um, like having more? more like increasing our percentage of free and reduce yeah no that is all um, based on eligibility guidelines okay. that are put out by us right. DA. yeah so our meal prices does not impact the number of students who would be eligible for free or reduced meals. I find it interesting, we're just talking about state um, funding and how they're not going to pay for the blueprint. And now, as a result of state doing the $15 an hour, we're saying that's why we have to increase our prices for all of our students. It's just kind of ironic how that's working. OK, any other questions? Make a motion to approve the school year 24-25 meal prices. That's submitted. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I say no. Thank you. Next. Okay. <clears throat> I come before you tonight seeking approval for Queen Anne's County Public Schools to piggyback off of Anne Arundel County Public Schools contract with Hershey Creamier Company for ice cream and ice cream freezers. We currently sell Hershey ice cream in all of our schools and it's being procured through our food service management company. These Hershey ice cream products meet Maryland standards for all foods sold in schools. The current ice cream contract and bid that all other Maryland school districts are piggybacking off of is from Anne Arundel County. This contract is set to expire on March 31st, 2025, and then we will be able to piggyback off of Baltimore County bid, which runs through March 31st of 2028. The funding will be out of the food service fund balance account. When we change that um, contract, what's the difference in price? They, the prices <coughs> change yearly. Is it a big difference? We won't know until, because all of the contracts are signed for a year and then there's a, a yearly renewal of them. I guess the question is, do we know what the difference is now? between Baltimore and Anne Arundel County, do we know how big of a difference? Uh, Baltimore County is currently piggybacking off of Anne Arundel, and then when Anne Arundel expires <laughs> on the 25th, everybody will piggyback <laughs> off of Baltimore County. Gotcha. Now, I know that we talked about this for a couple other contracts. Is there a way for us to see how they picked these particular contracts, thinking that they were the best value? Remember, we, um, we can pull the, the um, bid tab off 
Yeah, because I think we'd asked to see that last month from we Cecil County, and this. I just mm -hmm. we're still waiting to hear back, back from, from Cecil County. We did reach out to try to get you get you that information, mm -hmm. and just have not heard. And, and I talked to Dr. Salem's on the side. I said, you know, it'd be probably good to have a procurement thing present us how this does and what what criteria we use and how it comes across. Mm -hmm. So because it's a general thing, it's not just this or that. Right, we have right. a bunch of so I think it'd probably be good if um, maybe Helen, you could request her because you guys set the yeah. agenda uh, to give us a thing on uh, procurement and how we sure. would piggyback on certain things and oh, yes. would help us out. Absolutely. What it says on here, uh, ice cream and ice cream freezers. That means yeah. the product and, and the machines. The yes. So if we need an ice cream freezer, freezer. we buy piggyback off that. Yes. We already have some of them though, right? Yes. Wait a minute, we're, so we're not leasing any of them. These are purchases. Correct. Okay. And that's in our budget. Yes. I mean, we. Now you would think they would provide it free. I know there's a lot of, I mean, I know that even in my business, if I use Hershey dog food, they're going to give me a freezer free right. because I'm filling it with their stuff. So it's, it's interesting that they don't have that same incentive. For, that we have to pay for that. That's what's going to the dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, any other questions? The motion we approve the Hershey ice cream and ice cream freezer contract. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. No informational items. So all we have is future meetings and events. So the next meeting would be July 17th at 6 p.m. Okay, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second, second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, thank you very much.